Uh, my name is uh, Linda Yuya Gorin. I am an assistant professor at the WGRF chair in Cropping Systems at the University of Alberta. I was approached by the mining company called PMRU or Shenes Mine. Uh, Shenes Mine is a mine located uh, in Hana, which is about two hours south of uh, Edmonton. They had found out that we had a huge deposit of humulite in the province of Abeta, but also in Saskatchewan. And uh, farmers have been coming out to the mine and buying this in bags and applying it to their fields where they grew either weed or canola. So the mine had approached us and they said they would like us to look into this. Me and a colleague, we sat together with the people from the mine and we said the first thing to do with this product would be to design an experiment which would be a four-year rotation and go with the crops that the farmers are already uh, growing out in the field and uh, see whether this humulite is having the desired effect that the farmers professing that it, it did have. This product has about 70% humid acid, which is one of the highest humid acid deposits that I have seen. And most of the time, uh, humid acid content uh, ranges between 50 to about 60%. But the humulite deposits here we have in Abeta is up to 70%, which is quite a resource for the province. So what we did was we said, okay, uh, the first thing farmers need to know is how much humulite should they be applying in the field. So uh, we designed this experiment for three sites. We were also mindful that in Abeta we have different soil types. So we decided to pick these four sites to represent three different soil types. And this season was the first season that we ran this uh, trial out in the field. We employed five humulite rates and we went with the recommended rate for fertilizer for the area and then we cut the fertilizer by half just so that we would see whether there's an impact of this substance. Humulites are notorious for trapping nutrients and making them available for crops, but they are also very, very good based on my previous research in causing root development in young seedlings. So they would enhance it and make the plant established in a shorter space of time. This was our first year in the field and we are waiting for results. Unfortunately, it was a dry year, so we have a compounding factor of drought in there. And next year will be canola, and then we will do another weed, and then we will do pea and see how fertilizer as well as humulite are interacting. And uh, what we intend to be able to provide at the end of the day is that we will be able to recommend how much humulite should be applied by farmers for these different crops and whether uh, they should be cutting back on their fertilizer, which has huge impacts, not only for the uh, profits for the farmers' pocket, but also for the environment.